Hello, welcome back. This is question 8 of the Cambridge IGCS in Mathematics written in May-June 2024. If this is the first video you are seeing in this playlist, there are 7 videos already. You can go to my YouTube channel. There is a playlist titled IGCS in Mathematics Paper 41 May-June 2024. Okay, so question 8 on the axis, sketch the graph of y equals to x squared plus 7x minus 18. On your sketch, write the values where the graph meets the x-axis and the y-axis. Okay? So, so what we need to do here. Okay, ordinarily, if you have um, y equals to x squared, x squared, okay? If you have y equals to x squared, okay? It will just be like something like this. Okay, to be something like this, it passes through the origin. Okay, sorry for that. So you have something like this. So it passes through the origin like this and like this. So when you have additional information, so that means it will tell you how uh, it shifts, okay, horizontally and vertically. And also, you can also get the uh, minimum points or the maximum points uh, depending on the case, okay. So for this one now, look at it, the coefficient of x squared is positive, so we're going to have u shape, that's what we're going to have, okay, and the um, intercept on y axis, okay, is equals to negative 18, okay, so that is when you set y uh, x to be equals to 0, okay, so that is, okay, let's write, when x equals to 0, okay, so y will be equals to negative 18, so this is the y intercept okay so when x equals to when y equals to zero okay you can also get that that when x equals to zero okay so that means that means x squared plus seven x minus eighteen equals to um, zero and here you can use the shortcut to factorize this so the products okay will be equals to negative eighteen and we need the sum to be uh, positive 7 okay so if you want to do this um, of course this is what we're going to have here you can write something like this okay so x will be here x will be here okay since you have negative here that is negative 18 so that means the two values here will be um, different like one will be positive the other will be negative and even you have plus here so that means they have the same signs either positive positive or negative negative that's just the shortcut okay so i need to get factors of 18 now so that will add up to 7 so factors of 18 we have 3 and 6 we have um, 2 and 9 okay so which of these pairs this is one pair this is another pair okay so which of the pairs we give me plus 7 so it's 9 that can do that that is 9 and 2 so this will be plus 9 Okay, and this will be minus 2, okay, equals to 0. So, pretty straight away, okay. So, if you solve this now, x will be equals to negative 9, okay, or x equals to positive 2. So, that means it will touch the uh, x-axis at uh, x equals to 2, somewhere around here. So, this is 2, and x equals to negative 9, so let it be somewhere around here. Okay, and already we have y equals to 18, so it can be somewhere around here, okay? So, negative 18. So, we can just draw this now and see. Okay, so let's carefully draw something like this. So, it touches the y-axis somewhere here. That is negative 18. Then here it will be 2. Okay, so let me repeat that. So it will be 2. So I can put the 2 here. Okay, good. So this is negative 18. So I think I can do this better too. So this, that, this can like this. So this will be negative 18. Okay, so this is what you have here. Now, uh, if you need, if you need to get the um, line of symmetry, okay, you can get that, okay, either by writing the quadratic 
uh, equation expression in uh, completing the square form okay so you can do that or you can just use x equals to minus b over 2a so that will be minus so b in this case equals to negative 7 mm, b is equals to 7 so we have negative 7 here over 2 into 1 that is 2 so we have negative 3.5 so the line of symmetry is negative 3.5 negative 3.5 so it should be somewhere around here so let's just say here is negative 3.5 so this will be the line of symmetry okay so although with the information you have i think is okay so if you really want to get the uh the minimum okay although this is just a rough sketch okay it should be something like like this so i think i can do it better it should be something like this okay uh -huh. so that this will be uh, minus 18 then because the intercept on y axis is different from the maximum uh, the minimum point in this case now so here we can get the value of y here so x here is already minus 3.5 okay so this is negative 9 so let's write this again so this is negative 9 okay so so that means the coordinate of the turning point here will be negative 3.5 comma then we can get the value of y so this is where um, when you write this as a computing the square method okay it will be very helpful so that is this will just be um, y equals to x plus um, 7 over 2 okay then minus 7 times 7, 49 over 2 times 2, 4, then minus 18. So this will be equals to y equals to x plus, let's say, 3.5. Okay, then this, if you uh, add this together, that will be minus 1, 2, 1 over 4. And 1, to 1 over 4 is the same as uh, 30 point, uh, I think 30.2, 30.25, okay. 30.25 so this is the horizontal shift that is it will shift to the uh, negative side that is minus 3.5 and this is uh, the shift for the y-axis so don't forget that I told you that uh, when it is s squared it is like this so when you have this expression now so it will shift to what this point here will shift to negative 3.5 and it will shift to uh, um, y equals to negative 30.25 okay so that is this particular part now will be negative 30.5 so i just want to show you that uh, the uh, minimum point okay is different from this so don't take negative 18 okay to be the what the y the value of y at the minimum no so that is what you should take note okay so part uh, b one figure one find the derivative of y equals to this so that is uh, the y the x equals to 2 times x 2x minus 3 so the y the x equals to 2x minus 3 so we have got to find the coordinate of the turning points of y equals to this okay so at the don't at, at the turning point the y the x equals to 0 so that means the y ds is already 2x minus 3. So that means 2x minus 3 equals to 0. So that means 2x equals to 3. x equals to 3 over 2. That is equals to 1.5. So the turning point will be at x equals to 1.5. Then we need to find the value of y. Okay, so y will be equals to 1.5 squared okay minus 3 into 1.5 then minus 20 a okay so you can easily use your calculator here so you can have this here open a bracket if you like otherwise you can say 1.5 sorry 1.5 squared okay then minus uh, 3 into 1.5 1.5 
okay then minus 28 so hit enter so this is what you get as a fracture then you can convert it to decimal that is minus 30.25 so you have minus 30.25 so that will be the uh, coordinate okay so let's see is there any question left right so the line y equals to 5 minus 2x intersect the graph of y equals to s squared minus 3x minus 28 at a point p and and at point p and point q find the coordinates of p and q you must show all your working and give your answer correct to two decimal places okay so this is y and this is y okay so you can say y equals y so to so to say so that is you can say the first y will be x squared minus 3x minus 28 so equals to the second y that will be 5 minus 2x okay so if we rearrange we have x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 28 minus 5 equals to 0 so we have x squared minus 1x minus 33 equals to 0. Of course, if you cannot factorize this, so we have to use um, quadratic formula. So a equals 1, b equals to negative 1, then c equals to negative 33. Okay, so using x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a if you key in the values you have minus uh, b is minus 1 plus or minus uh, b squared minus 1 okay squared minus 4 into 1 into c equals to negative 33 okay so i can put my radical here Okay, so everything over 2 into 1, that is 2 into 1, 2. So you can input this directly into your calculator to save time. So you get the value of x to be equals to, um, okay, 1 plus or minus, you can simplify this a little bit to be 11.53 over 2, okay? So which will be x equals to... 1 plus 11.53 over 2 or x okay or x equals to 1 minus 11.53 over 2 okay so we just scroll down here so we have x to be equals to this will be 12.53 over 2 or x equals to negative 10.53 over Two. So finally, x equals to 6.27 or x equals to negative 5.27. Okay, so that means here x equals to 6.27 and here x equals to negative 5.27. Uh, we need to get the values of y. Okay. So when, um, okay, let's say when x equals to 6.27, okay, so what will be the value of y? Don't forget that y equals to 5 minus 2x, okay? So it will be y equals to 5 minus 2x. So x is 6.27. So if you do this straight away, you should get y to be equals to negative 7.54. So negative 7.54. Okay, so when x equals to negative 5.27, okay, so y will be equals to 5. Uh, minus 2 into negative 5.27 so if you input this into your calculator you should get 15.54 so you have 15.54 okay so um, this will be the end of my solution to question 8 
So in the next video, I will solve the last question, which is question 9. Until then, have your fingers crossed.